Hello and welcome, my name is Louise and this is Dan. We are from Peter Blackshaw Real Estate Manica. This is the first of our 2015 live market updates, touching on the activity in the residential sales listing and also rental market for Canberra. From a sales perspective, we've had a really bright start to 2015 with noticeable increases in buyer and seller activity right across the Manica office. Ordinarily, January is very quiet. However, this year we seem to be bucking a trend with over 39 new listings hitting the market with 17 exchanges already this year. From an auction perspective, we've had 15 auctions held, 14 of which have sold on the day of auction, which is certainly a uh, better statistic than a lot of our competitors. There's certainly positive sentiment in the marketplace at the moment. That comes down to a number of factors. We're certainly seeing less properties on the market in Canberra. We're roughly about 600 properties down right across the board, which means that there's increased buyer activity on those listings that are highly sought after, and that's what's seeing the, uh, the better results. Combine that with historically low interest rates, increased buyer activity, lack of stock, and the really positive sentiment that's come out of Sydney and Melbourne, now's a great time to be buying property here in the ACT. Some standout sales for 2015 have been number 68 Talara Parkway in Narrabunda. An absolutely spectacular four bedroom home positioned on 1100 square metres. This property generated a huge amount of interest with well over 100 viewings and 13 registered bidders come auction day. The home achieved a sale price of $1,020,000, which is the equal record price for this lower section of Narrabunda. One of one white crescent in Campbell. An executive townhouse beautifully presented and styled. Marketing agent Debbie Madigan is a firm believer in staging for sale, and this result is a testament to the power of presentation. A sale in excess of $1.1 million resulted. The property management team have conducted a staggering 537 exhibitions and total attendees to these exhibitions have been 1,084. Investment property owners, now's the perfect time leading into the end of the financial year to think about a possible upgrade of your property for maximum tax benefit. If you have a property that's eight to 10 years old, it may be worth considering a newer apartment for maximum depreciation and also for tenant desirability. It would also be a great time to have a holistic look at your property investment portfolio, make sure it's diverse and that it's really working for you. We have some premier new listings on offer. Number 12, Pindari Crescent in O'Malley, being offered for the first time via expressions of interest, closing on the 5th of March. This palatial home is a pure luxury of almost 600 square metres internally and set on a parcel of land of over 1,800 square metres. You need to check out Mario's video for more information. 37 Duffy Street in Ainsley. This is a really welcoming home set in an elevated position with super cool interiors with really open plan spaces and every room looking in to picturesque gardens. 83 of 13 East Lake Parade in Kingston. This wonderful ground floor waterfront apartment boasts a flexible floor plan with a huge courtyard and winter garden and overlooks everything that the Kingston Foreshore has to offer. Thanks for viewing the Peter Blackshaw Monica first video market update for 2015. Please feel free to contact the sales agent or property manager for more information. Louise, as we are in the Kingston Foreshore, it'd be rude of us not to go and have a coffee. Perfect, your shout. All right.